In this video, I am spring cleaning my dining room. I am moving some furniture and getting into all the nooks and crannies, getting all this dog hair vacuumed up, going through my china hutch, getting it wiped out, and reorganizing and doing a little bit of decluttering. Mostly I want this room to just get a nice spring clean. We mostly use this room for puzzle building and family games, and it's just gotten really dusty and it needs a really good spring clean. So if you're looking for some spring cleaning motivation, this is the right video for you. My name is Janet, I'm a stay at home mom of three, and I post lots of cleaning motivation, home and mom life. I post every Sunday and I try to throw in bonus videos on Wednesdays. Thank you so much for joining me. If you like what you see so far, please give this video a like and subscribe if you would like to see more from me. I'm starting with one of my least favorite jobs and that is polishing silver. This is something I almost never do but this tray is in such bad shape you can see there's even a rust spot on it. I had a plant on here and clearly some water um, got on this tray and sat for way too long so I'm just going to go ahead and give this tray a quick polish with this silver polish. I really, really dislike the smell of this stuff. It really bothers me. I actually had to get up at one point and open the window because I just have such a hard time with the smell of this stuff. But every once in a while I will go ahead and give this tray a really good polish just to keep it in good shape. But um, I, I'm starting off with this job because if I didn't, I knew I wouldn't do it later on because it's just something I really dislike doing. This is one of the very few pieces of silver that we own and it is a family heirloom. I didn't get all of those rust marks off. I'm sure if I scrubbed it longer I could have but it's good enough for now and it's nice and shiny so uh, it just goes to show you a little bit of elbow grease goes a long way. Before I go ahead and start pulling things out of the china hutch, I wanted to give this table a quick wipe down. It was pretty dusty, but also just in case there was any silver polish on the table, I wanted to get that off of the table as soon as possible. My dog does use a crate and he has one upstairs, one downstairs. The downstairs one is in our dining room and that's really the only place for it, but it's kind of in the way where it is. So I'm gonna switch it with this chest of drawers and I think that it's just gonna fit better. In that chest of drawers, I keep all sorts of things from table linens to extra candles to puzzles and games. When I move this crate, you will see what springtime with a dog in the house actually looks like. This is pretty typical. I do clean around this crate regularly, but it just collects. I will say vacuuming this up is so satisfying. This 
this dresser has so many different marks on it and I've sort of gone back and forth for years about painting it or refinishing it. It is a veneer and it's got that sort of waterfall finish and you can see the like herringbone pattern on the bottom there. It is such a beautiful piece. I, I don't know if I want to paint it or not. It's still kind of on my list, but I, I just don't know. Let me know in the comments below, what do you think I should do with this dresser? Should I leave it as is uh, or should I paint it? Or if you have a similar piece of furniture, have you refinished it and how did it turn out? Now that I've moved some furniture, I felt like I needed to rearrange the pictures on the walls. So to do this, I'm using command strips so that I don't need to get out a hammer and nails. I also have a really hard time getting pictures in the right place when I use nails. If I think if you take off any picture that has been on my walls for several years now, you'll see that there's several nail holes behind each picture because I, I don't know, I just have a really hard time trying to get everything measured and lined up properly. So I have lots of holes in these walls, whereas command strips I just find a lot easier and it's less damaging. Okay, now that I've got all that done, I can move back to this hutch and start getting everything cleared off and dusted. And um, for a while we used to use this as sort of like a bar area. And for the last couple of years, of course, we haven't been able to host very many parties and definitely not very big parties. So it hasn't been something we've needed to have out all the time. It's just collecting dust. So I'm gonna go ahead and put most of these bottles away. Like a light lighting up in the dark You make it right, I forgot how to act It's so classic Every time you make me The way that I'm doing this is essentially in categories So I started with all of the bottles on the top of this buffet And now I'm moving on to all of my stemware 
it had kind of gotten mixed up and was in different areas of the shelves. So I wanted to just go ahead and take everything out and put it on top of the hutch and on top of the table so that I could clear off that entire top shelf and put all of the stemware together on the top shelf. I think that there always comes a time when you're decluttering where you just get so overwhelmed, or at least I do. Pre-pandemic, we used to have like a big open house after Christmas between New Year's. My uh, twins have a birthday in there so we would have like a birthday party slash open house slash like everybody come over and of course now things have really changed so I don't need this much stemware now but I'm still optimistic that in the future this won't be enough because it used to not be so uh, I don't know I'm torn here I just I'm in the state where I'm overwhelmed and I want to quit but I know that I have to just keep going and getting everything put back together but man i'm overwhelmed because i clearly am a hoarder of dishes and glasses and all of this sort of stuff i'm just going to work section by section or like category um because if i take everything out of here i'm gonna feel like giving up and might actually give up so i'm just gonna work with this first and clean up these shelves get this put back and an order that makes sense to me and then move on to teacups and china i want to declutter some of my teacups and china because i just i have more than i'll ever use this cabinet that all of this stuff in is really old and this little knob here doesn't it it's lost i don't know what you call it but this this little piece where you can twist it to open the cover that is missing on this so i cannot get this covered open so that makes decluttering and cleaning this that that much more fun um look at these these are eggshells that my sweet friend amy and her daughter kyrie they hollowed out these eggs and made these little scenes and i think that they're just the most precious things and something that i intend to treasure for years and years and years uh, those are not getting decluttered, but look at this one. We, Amy and I, we like to go backpacking and camping and we camped in the snow one year and this is that scene of our yellow tent in way too much snow. Tour. I've moved this dresser here. I've got two framed pictures above it 
and these crystal decanters. I've cleared off most of the stuff that was on the top of this bar, but I've still got the wine and the wine decanter, the soda stream that I think I'm probably going to end up giving away, and a punch bowl. I put it on this silver tray here for now. And then inside of this cabinet, I've put all of the stemware on the top shelf, all of the teacups, teapots, coffee cups, cream, sugar, all of that stuff, second shelf. And then on the third shelf is kind of miscellaneous stuff. So I've got like the um, cups for the punch bowl, an ice bucket, a pitcher, the children's baby mugs and bowls and cutlery. Um, I think most of that stuff I'm going to declutter. I have a friend who uh, has an Etsy shop, so I'm going to ask her if she wants uh, that top set in particular. Uh, that set I'm going to declutter. And then on the very bottom here is my china that we got, um, Marco and I got for our wedding. So it is, uh, I believe, 20 place servings. So that can all stay on the bottom there. And then in here, I moved all of the hard alcohol to the liquor cabinet. This drawer is all just bar stuff. This drawer here is all like party serveware, so dollies, doilies, sorry. And then this is all like cheese knives, serving stuff, little like chalk things to say what like a dip is all miscellaneous party stuff so hopefully one day we will be able to do that again uh, that's recycling that's like a beaded wine thing I'm gonna get rid of that I'm gonna get rid of this wine stand there's a little glass container um, <laughs> this shark mug is Marco so I'm gonna ask if I can get rid of that I'm gonna do part of these and declutter this sugar bowl. This table has a lot of scuffs on it so a lot of these white marks are not dirt it's just really been well used over the years so it's not gonna look perfect but I am gonna clean off any spills or things like all of this stuff in the cracks here there was quite a bit of like dried on food or dried milk I'm not really sure what it was but I'm gonna clean the sides of the leaves here and I'm using a plastic scraper, microfiber cloth and just my method spray to get all of that stuff off. Now that I've pushed the table out of the way, I'm going to go ahead and give this chandelier a quick dust. I really, really love crystal chandeliers. I think that they're so beautiful until I have to clean them. And then the entire time I'm cleaning it, I'm seriously questioning why in the world I would ever have a chandelier in my home. They're so much work to dust, but they are really beautiful.
Now that the chandelier has been dusted, I can move on to these chairs. I'm just giving them a really quick wipe down. They weren't too dirty, but they were dusty towards the back of the chairs until later on you'll see that I flip all of these chairs upside down so that I could give the floor a quick wipe. And when I flipped the chairs upside down, I noticed how dirty the legs were and I couldn't see it when the chairs were upright. Um, clearly things had been spilled or dropped at some point and splashed back up and the only way I could see it was when these chairs were upside down. So I do later on in this video take a couple minutes to wipe down the undersides of these chairs and the legs really well. Also, I'm just going around and pulling any fur off of the felt feet and any felt feet that had come loose and then I'm also going to get my husband to replace a couple of the felt feet that had come loose and uh, needed to be replaced. I don't really ever mop my hardwood floors. I know that some people do. I just haven't ever found that that's something I've needed to do. I will, however, take some hardwood floor cleaner and sort of spot clean it or do what I'm doing here and just really giving it a quick wipe with a microfiber cloth. But I have never used like a steam mop or a mop in a bucket on my hardwood floors. And after all of that, it is finally cleaned. And just a quick reminder of what it looked like before. And now that everything's all cleaned off, it just feels so much more inviting and relaxing to be in this space now that it's less cluttered. Also this space here, that crate was really in the way. And now that I've switched it with that chest of drawers, it just opens up the room a lot more and is more functional. So nobody wanna dance with you all night long Dive in, babe, you know we can't stop this Come on and show me what you got Cause I don't care Thanks for joining me for this super motivating dining room clean with me. I hope you enjoyed it and if you did, don't forget to give it a like and subscribe for more. I'll see you in the next one.